Um, well, I have done a film with Grace called American Zombie, mm -hmm. and we had a great time working together. And a couple years later, she had mentioned something to me about a funding seminar that was happening at UCLA for you know, films and docs and stuff, and I was like, oh, I have an idea for a documentary. I think I'll go with her, and we'll sit together all day. So I had this idea in my head. I wanted to do a documentary about the religious left in America, because mm -hmm. I think it's kind of an undis unexplored territory. Mm -hmm. And we were in a lot of seminars together, and I was pitching my idea and everything, and then I got home, and she called me, and she said, you know, before you return anybody's phone call that might have been interested today, let's meet and have dinner, because I have an idea <laughs> for a film I'd like to make. And so... Then we met for dinner, and then she pitched the idea of Janine from Des Moines to me. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we're both from the Midwest. Jane's from Iowa. I'm from Missouri, mm -hmm. and we both have had experiences with the Iowa caucuses. Mm -hmm. Like I was a student journalist from Missouri. We covered it a long time ago. Um, and Jane had told me she had done this sort of, you know, she's also a comedian. She'd done sort of stand up for the volunteers from both parties in 2008, and I, it got me to thinking, you know, the Iowa caucuses are like a complete media circus and mm -hmm. like this arena for, you know political theater and you know it's it's it was an interesting idea because I know that Jane is from Iowa she also is like a political junkie and I thought it would be a great way to sort of use our tools as you know both independent documentary filmmaker and improvisational actor mm -hmm. sort of go into the situation and see what we got but um, it ultimately stemmed from you know sort of the situation of politics in the US right now which is so sort of contentious and polarized in terms of um, politics, you know, and we thought if we could make a film that could start a conversation, sort of directing um, the conversation away from the campaign trail rhetoric and into sort of the reality of everyday Americans like people, like Janine, mm -hmm. um, that's something we wanted to do, and we felt that that wasn't happening. You want to start? I guess I, I would hope more than anything that citizens across America, you know, wherever they, whatever political ideology they come from, especially if they're, you know, in a place where they're sort of like disenchanted with the whole political system. That would, to me, would be like the greatest person to watch this. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have anybody watch it. I mean, I, I'm excited to have the candidates watch it. I'm excited to have the news, mm. the news journalists watch it and see. <laughs> and when they get over their initial like, <laughs> excuse me, you know, you didn't, you weren't really that, you, well, I was that, I mean, it's weird, because it's so strange to say sometimes, like, I wasn't really that person, but in a weird way, I almost feel like I am that person, mm -hmm. you know? There are many, many areas where Janine and I match up it, precisely. I'm a mom, I'm from the Midwest, I'm from Iowa originally, mm -hmm. uh, I'm a Christian, mm -hmm. um, and, you know, she's very conservative, I'm extremely progressive, that's where we part ways, but I felt like when I was inhabiting her body and her world, it wasn't like such a stretch and such a leap of imagination mm -hmm. for me. I, there, any number of things could have, factors could have come in my life where I ended up exactly like Janine, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And I think, I think the thing I would love to see happen in America more often is that empathic moment of like, that could be my life. Mm -hmm. Even if you're living a great life, or even if you're living a life that's even more challenging than, than Janine's, mm -hmm. you know? I, I like the idea of this film building community, oddly enough, for something that probably on the face of it, looks like it could be something divisive or something scary or mm -hmm. weird or other. Mm -hmm. I think it's actually community building. That's my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, we both come from, she comes from Iowa, which is a battleground state right, right now. You know, it's a state where, you know, we have the Tea Party and all the things that you see in our film. And I come from Missouri where the Todd Aiken, who talks about legitimate rape, but, you know, he didn't grow up in this kind of community. You know, like part of it co coming from the Midwest, you know, there's this stereotype of, you know, these hayseed Midwesterners. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, my parents are immigrants. You know, I grew up and born and raised in Missouri. And, you know, we made this film because we want to have a conversation with the people that we went to school with, the mm -hmm. people that we know who are Janine, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think going back to the audience question, yeah, all Americans, but the, um, the Americans that I grew up with who I don't quite know how to approach about some of these topics, but maybe a film is sort of a neutral not that neutral, way to sort of explore, you know, let's talk about the issues, not you and me, but through this character and what she goes through. Mm -hmm. it, with improvisation, it's always, as they like to say, I mean, I'm, I didn't really study improvisation, but I know that what they say is like, have 
good information in your head. Mm -hmm. So when you're saying, especially since it's not comedic improvisation, it's like life, a person's life, in, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And every once in a while, I would have a moment where somebody would ask me a question, and I would think, oh my gosh, they could go, somebody could go and research this, and if I don't, if I if I say something that's not true, mm -hmm. I don't know. You get like when we were speaking with Michelle Bachman. Sure. At a certain point, uh, Steve King said, "What what trucking company does your husband work for?" Right. And I just had this moment of like, holy oh, crap! I just I know we had worked it out on paper, but it's just not in my head right now. So I was like. Say but that's brilliant. I mean, it was totally yeah. in character. Yeah. yeah. Like, why would I say that in front of all these cameras? And yeah. It's kind of a, it totally you know, works. Yeah. 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 Totally. Yeah. I mean, I think Jane is amazing in the film, and yes. like I make documentaries as well, and <clears throat> you know, we had created this character and the backstory and sort of guidelines of what would happen, mm -hmm. but we didn't know. I mean, we had no idea that sure. Romney would be the nominee. I mean, maybe some idea, but it just so many kind of serendipitous things happen for our story. But I think it's because that's what's in the air, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I think that, you know, we all sort of are surrounded by media talking points about fracking, about, you know, gay marriage, about mm -hmm. illegal b babies that are born illegally, you know, things right. like that. And it's just to, to make that switch from being like pretty much like the polar opposite of what you believe mm -hmm. is like quite an accomplishment. Um, There's always a moment, especially <laughs> especially when Michelle Bachman says, sit down and I'll buy you a cup of coffee. There's, um, th I, I can tell you exactly the moment, because I remember it, you know, where I'm having almost an out-of-body experience. Mm -hmm. She says, so tell me about yourself. And then, um, I, and then I say, this has just been the, one of the hardest years of our lives. Right in that moment, you, I can tell you right now, there was a, t a bank of cameras on me, and my brain is reeling like, this is first thing in the morning, the very first day we're out in our last little stint of filming, and I'm like, is this going to get blown out of the box right now? Will we be finished after this? You know, we haven't gotten to almost any other can. You know, so my brain is reeling with like technical th stuff, and then I'm just, and then I have to calm myself down and go, stay in the moment, stay in the moment, stay in character, keep talking to her. Like, and that happens, it happens in like five seconds, but it's like, Ugh, like the whole movie is going on in my brain. And that, Constantly happen like when I finally grabbed hold of Mitt Romney's hands right. at the end at the um, at, the, at that thing, he, I I think it has to be organic or it doesn't it isn't real mm -hmm. and every the the film won't work on a certain level but also my encounter with the candidate won't work so he'd said some stuff in that stump speech about it tearing families apart mm -hmm. and I was like that is what I'm going to go with when I approach him like mm -hmm. everything so the first line out of my mouth I think is everything you talked about is what's happening to my family. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of went from there. So it is a, it's a weird thing. It's like an ongoing improvisation that they're participating in without realizing it. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> so. Um, I think they won't respond. I mean, I mean, <laughs> you know, I, I mean, it would be awesome if they did. Mm -hmm. And you, I mean, we made a film to have a conversation with Americans. They're Americans. Mm -hmm. You know, it's part of the political process. We have. You know, it's part of the democratic, um, you know, part of democracy to have this kind of discussion. And, uh, but, you know, the Des Moines Register just called yesterday and they, you know, did an article about us. Um, and I just read that there was an update um, and they had contacted the Romney campaign and they had declined to comment. So I, my guess is they're trying to figure out what's going on. Right. And, but we'd be happy to show it to them. I'd be happy, and I'd be happy to engage with them and have a dialogue about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All of I mean, them. Every know? single one of them. You know, on, on any level, on a political level, but you know, I, I have to say there is a part of me that would, as a Christian, love to sit down with Michelle Bachman. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's open up our Bibles and talk about all the issues you brought up that day at that stump speech. Yeah. You know, babies born illegally in this country. That phrase alone, I, I don't know, I would, would it'd be interesting just from, I, I could like, I could open up some scripture and like say, this is what I'm inspired by. Does that influence you at all? Mm -hmm. You know, like I quite often bring up Matthew 25, but you know, I was a stranger in a strange land and you welcomed me. Mm -hmm. You didn't call me an illegal baby. You know? Right. So. <laughs> I, I, I can guarantee you that Michelle Bachman would not go come, up, come across me in the high V and say, you know, hey, you look like an interesting person. Let's go have a little chat somewhere if there was no camera nearby. Now, maybe that's my cynical, maybe she would. Who knows? You just never know. And sure. I, but I, I do. When you're watching the tape, you can see her kind of like 
She's looking over. She's seeing the cameras there. Yeah. You know? But I want to clarify. It's not our camera. It's everybody's camera. There's sure. always like tons of cameras. You know, it's not that we are focusing on Janine. Janine is. What would happen in these situations is these campaign stops. They're mostly press there. Mm -hmm. There are barely any citizens, and the citizens that are there are sort of, you know, kind of drove in, driven in to have put their signs up. So there are these media moments. You know. And so for us, we were not part of that, and we were actually, our, while all of the media's cameras were trained on the candidate mm -hmm. and what they're saying, we're actually focusing on Janine, right. and that's really the point of the film, you know, like, in the end, it's not about Mitt Romney, it's about Janine mm -hmm. and what she's going.